Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year's. It's a new year. It's a new week. Um, it's a new month, like all the new things. So I'm excited to start the new year off right. Um, this We're entering into one of our busiest seasons uh, in this business. If you haven't been with us through January through, well, I would say, probably like early May, we're pretty busy this time of year. People are looking to set goals for themselves, whether that's financially, whether that is um, physically. And we are here to help people accomplish those things financially through the business, physically through our products. And we also have the Ultimate Thriver officially starting on the 4th. So if you're not yet registered, here's a reminder to register. Um, but the next three days, we should really be talking about that a lot. Even if you're not doing it yourself, you can at least give your customers or your other promoters an opportunity at you know a, their grab of two hundred thousand dollars so <clears throat> i wanted to start off by goal setting because it i know right time for a new dream board i have to take all my tabs down i'll show you what mine looks like you guys real quick um how do i flip there we go so this is what mine looks like i personally do post-its because there is a satisfaction of being able to take it off once you accomplish that goal. And um, I usually, anytime I accomplish a goal, I will post that into like my stories just so people can see like, I'm actively planning, oh, I put myself back, actively planning for my future and how I'm able to accomplish all these things that I have set out to do. Give me one second. <clears throat> So I think it's really important. Like, I, I feel like a lot of people may have struggled the last couple months within the business. Um, the holidays, I get it. Um, a lot going on in the world, things like that. And you're just maybe wondering, how do I start off a new year? I want to get back into this. I want to make this a better year. I want to do more. Um, but I'm feeling overwhelmed. I don't know where to begin. Um, or even if you've been in this business and you are on fire, something like I've been in this business now, it will be four years in May, which is nuts to me that it's already been four years. But <clears throat> um, I, I was looking that like I was planning for this and thinking, what do I need to do to make this a better year and to make things simpler for my team? Because I feel like sometimes we can overcomplicate things like we're looking at the goals that we want to accomplish. And usually we're setting goals like I want to achieve 4k or 12k or 40k. And I can tell you that sometimes those in between stages, like 12k to 40k or 40k to 80k can seem like a mile away. And you might, you might be thinking to yourself, like, I don't know how I'm going to do that. And so I've spoke about this before. You're setting these rank goals over and over and over every month. Every, every first of the month, I post the tracker in the dream team, to, um, all these other pages, start to survive, whatever. And I always say to drop your goals. And I always notice that it's just, people are just dropping rank goals or they're dropping their, their personal volume goals, or they want to get two new customers and da, 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 da. And while I think it's important to have those numbers as benchmarks to see if you're on track with your goals those shouldn't be the main point of your focus. Because if you're like, I'm going 4K. Okay, but my question would then be after that, how are you going to do that? And I think if you just are focusing on the number, you lose sight of the people that you're trying to impact, you can get frustrated easily, and then you'll find yourself replaying the same rank goals over and over and over again. So I was thinking as I was writing this up, what is the simplest way to not only gain volume yourself, but also duplicate within your team. And I think it's going back to the very simplistic formula that our CEOs created with this business and not overcomplicating things, not focusing on, I need a thousand in volume or I need all this stuff. Like, yes, that stuff is important, but focusing on these specific goals will help you accomplish that number. So 
the very first goal that you always want to look at every single beginning of the month, it's not how many times are you posting? It's not how many times are you going live? Or it's not like, who are you helping on your team? Go 4k, 12k, whatever. The very first goal that you should have is to get yourself thriving for free. That is the first thing we tell people when they come into this business brand new is that your first goal is to get your products for free the next month. And so outside of everything else, outside of the ranks, outside of the new promoters, outside of all that stuff, your first focus should always be, how am I going to thrive for free first? So that is the first goal that I would write down. That's what I have written down, thrive for free. So how are we going to make that happen? <clears throat> the first thing is with your current customers. So if you have current customers that are continuously ordering, or maybe you had some new customers last month, or maybe you um, have customers that ordered a while ago, but maybe haven't ordered for a long period of time, whatever it is, your first thing that you should always go to if you're not brand new is my current customers. Oh my gosh, why am I getting so many notifications on my phone? Um, current customers. So how are you taking care of your current customers? Following up with your current customers, sending out thank you cards. That's something I do at the beginning of every single month and talk to them about how they can get their products for free as well. So if you're not taking care of your current customers, you're always going to be searching for new people so that you can thrive for free instead of it being like something that's just taken off your plate. Like, you know, you will thrive for free because you have X amount of current customers all the time. So make sure that you're taking care of your current customers. I always say this to my team, like you don't spend all that time trying to acquire a new customer to just like let them go after they come on to your business. So you spend all this time creating posts, sending out samples, following up with these people, sending them a discount for their first order. And then you just leave them alone and don't ever talk to them again. Like you are creating so much more work for yourself and you're constantly like restarting over and over and over again. So making sure that you're going to take care of your current customers. This means like following up with them on a regular basis. This means, um, talking to them about their progress. This means um, troubleshooting things with them. If they feel like maybe I don't have the funds right now, helping them like with credits or maybe telling them like, hey, we can, or what is one product that you feel like you absolutely need? And let's work on getting you at least just that. Um, really working with your customers and demonstrating a genuine care for them. Okay, the second way to thrive for free is obviously with new customers. So how do we get new customers? Well, sending out samples is the very first thing. So talking about samples in your story, talking about samples in your posts on Facebook, um, re-following up with people that were interested in the past and maybe <clears throat> haven't talked to you and just ask them like, Hey, I know you loved your sample previously. Have you thought about starting thrive? I have this available for you right now. So you can get started like whatever. If you're not willing to just have those conversations, things will never happen. So consistently posting about your products also is important. So talking about it in your stories and <clears throat> not just doing it the same exact way every single time. I see it, just a picture of your capsules every single morning. Okay, but you need to show your face sometimes. Sometimes you need to talk verbally about them because people don't like, they're like, cool, you wake up because of those things, but whatever. You need to, you need to highlight your products in many different ways because people are on the sales scale at multiple times. Some people, they're just being introduced to what you're having to say. Some people have seen your posts about your, your capsules 8,550 times, and you need to create a new way to, to display those. Um, and some people are like, you know what? I'm seeing her posts about all these things. Like, how does she get up all the time as a mama three? They're close to the edge. So sometimes you need to talk about how somebody needs this right now so that you can push them to the next phase, which is coming into your inbox, right? So like reach out to me if this is something that you want. You have to touch on all those people. So those are the two ways to thrive for free. Your current customers, making sure you're taking care of them, 
and getting new customers. So once you're thriving for free, the next goal is for you to re-VIP. Now they didn't, our business, our, our CEOs didn't create the VIP model for just new people. It is a simple way for you to come in and earn some money right off the bat. But also the re-VIP, the VIP model is also something that you need to implement in your business as somebody that's tenure or been within this business for a long, a long time. Implement that every single month for yourself to grow your business. So that is two customers and two promoters equaling 800 in volume if you can. But if you're consistently getting two customers on an auto ship and two promoters on any promoter pack, whether that's both of them have the 200 pack or whatever, you're going to see growth within your business. So how do we re-IVP, VIP, ugh, words are hard on a Saturday. Um, how do we re-VIP every single month? So two new customers, obviously, if you're focusing on the new customers for your thriving for free, you're naturally just going to hit that one, right? That is the, that is the strategy, sending out samples, consistently posting about your products, following up with people, blah, 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 blah. So that, then you're just going to be, that's going to be your strategy for the first two customers. Then you're going to need two promoters. Are you talking about the business opportunity at all? I'm going to put that on a shirt. Words are hard. <laughs> Send it to me <laughs> or let me know when you got that and I'll buy one. <laughs> um, so are you posting about the business? So many people are like, I can't get promoters. I can't get promoters. I can't get promoters. But then I'm like, are you ever talking about the business opportunity? Then how are you ever opening that door? So talking about the business two times a week, your current customers, letting them know that this is an option for them. I know you love the products. Have you ever thought about making a business out of this? And then tell your samplers, if you're not making the ask or at least opening the door for them, how will they ever know? How will you ever gain promoters? So the way that that would sound is if somebody is sampling, they're saying they love their product, or even if somebody is just in your inbox and they're like, I need what you have. The first thing you should ask them or tell them is I have two ways that you can get your product. You can either get your product as a customer or you can get your product by having a business which is completely free. There is literally no difference between the two other than if you refer people, you get paid with the business. It's as simple as that. We don't have the monthly website fees or the annual fees or anything like that in order for them to promote. So like, why wouldn't you talk to them about that? So if that's something, if one of these things you're like, wow, I've never done that before. I encourage you to step outside your comfort zone and do that. You will see growth within your business. If you're willing to do something outside of what you are comfortable doing, because if what you're doing currently isn't getting you to where you want to go, then obviously you need to make a shift. You can't just keep doing the same thing, expecting something different to happen. That is literally the, the definition of insanity is content. If you are continually shoveling food in your mouth and you're not losing weight, why would you continue to eat the same food kind of a thing? Just like with this business, if you're only posting about your capsules in the morning and you're not going live or you're not talking about the business, then obviously you're going to stay in the same place. So you got to be able to recognize when you need to make a shift. The last goal is for you to grow your network. You can't keep constantly talking to the same people, expecting that one day they will just happen to have an epiphany and all of a sudden want what you have to offer. No, you got to continuously grow your network. So this is, this looks like picking one to two groups on Facebook and actively engaging in them <clears throat> throughout the week and building relationships that way. This means creating reels in, in, on Facebook and Instagram and TikToks. If you are not doing that, you need to be doing that. That is the easiest way for you to grow your network. Um, building relationships with hashtags on, in, in, on Instagram. I seriously cannot talk today. <laughs> Mm, maybe it's because I'm trying to go too fast. So searching up a hashtag that relates to your niche and then <clears throat> finding a post or like three to four posts a day and engaging with them. 
<clears throat> and then talking to people out to out, out and about. I don't like the word belly to belly. It just makes me, I don't know. It just sounds weird. I just, I just picture like a Buddha with a big belly and two of them touching each other with their bellies. Like I was just so odd. Um, so out and about talking to people, <clears throat> wearing your product where people can see it. <clears throat> I can tell you. So I started a new, <laughs> I started, I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was, I started a new job in my town just because I, one of my goals this year is to pay off as much debt as possible with our family. So it's, I literally work two blocks from my house. Like you can't really go wrong there, but I have my Lavelle sticker on the back of my car and my new boss at my job asked me about it. She was a brand new customer of mine. Cause I brought her a sample. I said, let's, let's talk through how you take this yada, yada, yada she was a brand new customer for me. So <clears throat> making sure that you're wearing your, your patch, um, maybe it, it is investing in a decal for your car. If that's something you want to do, you obviously don't have to, but I think the easiest way for us is that we have wearable nutrition to show everybody. So talking to people out and about, it's that simple. It's those things thriving for free, free VIP, grow your network, rinse and repeat thriving for free, Revip, growing your network, rinse, repeat. It's so I think we get so complicated where we're like, I have this promoter that needs to go this rank, and I need to go this rank, and we need this much in volume. But if you're constantly focusing on these three things, you will see growth within your business because if you are focusing on revipping, you're teaching your people to focus on revipping. You're constantly bringing in new people, and why reinvent the wheel that our CEOs have already placed out there for us? So, um, that is what I would suggest to go back to simple. First of all, get yourself thriving for free because it's so important for you to not only get your products for free every month or to have those credits on hand so that you can divvy them out at month end at, at, for your new customers to read VIP, whatever that looks like getting those credits is so crucial for your business. Um, <clears throat> And then obviously if you're re-VIPing, you're getting new promoters, you're getting new customers, you're going to grow. So that's what I have for goal setting. I know some people may, might think like, how, what's the secret to going 4K or 12K? It's re-VIPing all the time over and over and over and over and over again. And if you're just focusing on that, I need to get two customers and two promoters this month this and then creating a strategy around that end of story you will reach your goals and you're helping your team do the same that's what the most successful people do in this business is just focus on vip okay so we're going to plan our week and yeah so new month new week new year all the new things so monday on facebook Sat, I mean, this is a holiday weekend. People are getting started in a new, a new year. So on Facebook, I want you to take a picture of your capsules, however you want, and talk about how they help you in the morning, especially after a holiday weekend. Um, Instagram, we are going to inspire with a quote, quote that is niche related. In your stories, talk about the ultimate thriver because the last day is the day following that. So even if you're not doing it yourself, make sure you're talking about it because this is an opportunity for somebody to maybe make a complete life shift in their health and then have the opportunity to make a complete financial shift. So a creative way that you could talk about this is the top two goals for anybody, for people all over for New Year's resolutions is usually to make or save more money or lose weight. Why not go for both of those with this challenge, right? And for you, if, even if you're not doing this, in order for them to stay within the ultimate thriver, they have to maintain an auto ship of at least 150 every single month. So half of your thriving for free for the next three months, like do it. Seriously, if, you're, if you haven't talked about it, talk about it, use the previous winners pictures like other people's pictures like whatever you want to do your own pictures talk about it please tuesday 
we are going to talk about how weekly paychecks help you. If you're not currently earning weekly pay paychecks, I want you to talk about, let me think. I want you to talk about how you still need to talk about it. I don't believe in lying or faking it until you make it because I feel like I feel like it kills your own self-esteem and your own confidence <clears throat> in the business, but you have to talk about the paycheck. You have to, because there are so, you can say something like there are so many people out there that this last year has been a struggle for financially and talk about the finance, the business opportunity and how you, if you really wanted to, you can enter this business for completely free and earn up to 800 to $1,200 in your first two weeks. Like, why wouldn't you talk about that for somebody? So make sure that you're talking about that. On Instagram, we are going to teach within our niche. And this can look like five steps to, this can look like maybe you do a reel showing how you do X, Y, Z. Maybe this is you sharing a resource that you have, like teaching within your niche. Stories. I have overlay with payment transfer. Um, so that would be like a picture of you that on Instagram and having, because you can click on pictures and you can put in a picture. This can be like a screenshot of the like payment successfully or commissions successfully transferred, like whatever it says. <clears throat> That's what I would call an overlay. And then talk about, Oh, I, apparently my brain is not functioning this morning when I wrote this down. Speak about one thing you are looking to do with your business income this year. What is a goal that you have with your business income? Something that you think that other people would relate to. Not buying a Louis Vuitton bag or freaking, I don't know, anything along those lines, but like something that you know that somebody else would relate to, whether that is like, focusing on paying off your student loans, paying off your credit card debt. Maybe it's just saving. Like what is one financial goal that you have with your business that you're looking to accomplish? Talk about that. Wednesday, Facebook, go live and do an unboxing. So I'm thinking to myself, uh, we have the BOGO going on right now. You might you probably won't. You might have it by Wednesday if you're lucky, if you're extremely lucky. If not, then talk about packing up samples. Um, if you don't have product on hand, because I know that's a very real thing, especially with like the holidays and stuff like that, maybe that there are some people that you're struggling financially yourself. Um, reach out to your upline today. Today, send them a message and say, hey, can you send me just the thing of capsules, just the thing of mix and just a patch. They will do it for you. And if that person can't or won't do it, go up until you find somebody that will take those three things. Once you get them and take a boatload of pictures, a boatload, take a picture of your capsules here, your capsules there, your capsules there, cap open capsules in your hand on a piece of thing of water, da, 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 da shake um do a shake uh why can't i think the outside of the package take all three steps together take a picture of that um take a, a bunch of pictures without your patch on by itself like in your hand on this on that whatever and then put it on and take a bunch of pictures that way like there are ways around this if you're telling yourself i can't do this because i don't have product you just don't you just need to think outside the box you need to reach out to your upline and at least ask for the three steps I can guarantee you there is somebody within, within your team that will send you one thing of capsules, one thing of shakes, and one thing of patches. And then if you're going to go live, which you should do, and you can't do an unboxing because you don't have product coming in, you can't do samples because it's not like you have all the products um, to pack up like a full sample, then you can explain each of the products by themselves. Say, hey, with the new year, I know that so many people focus on getting healthier, losing weight, whatever. I have to talk about to you about this because of what it's done for me, what it's done for other people, and possibly what it could do for you. 
and then just explain the three steps. This is the capsules that wakes you up in the morning within 20 minutes and provides your body with everything it needs, blah, 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 blah. So go live. Do not make excuses within your business. I understand we go through rough patches. I understand that we go through hard financial times that we go through hard mental struggles. But if you want to get out of that, you got to be willing to just take one step, take one step. Um, Instagram, we're going to do a reel and I'm not going to go into those because we've talked about them at, at nauseum, how to do them stories and you can reference back one to one of my other videos too stories talk about a, pro, a plus line product stoplight spot stoplight <laughs> spotlight <laughs> so maybe that is again if you don't have a plus line product on hand pull one off of the uh instagram that uh lavelle has because they're beautifully done pictures and then I know that there's these beautiful like product spotlight things that you can add as an overlay on your stories that kind of explain what that specific product is. So pick a plus line, highlight that. Thursday, Facebook, the talk about the flexibility of having your own business. So what do you love about your business that pertains to it being flexible? So is it that you can fold a pile of laundry and message people is it that you can still be with your family and that you can't not message people take that out that you can work your business um is it that you can be with your family your kids that can be playing and you can be working your business that you don't have to like physically go into a building um is it that you can work a job and then still have the capability to do this afterwards to pay for extra things that you want because maybe your paycheck at your work just doesn't cut it. Like you gotta talk about that stuff because that's a reality for a lot of people out there. Um, so talking about the flexibility, having a picture. So maybe it's like your laptop, a planner, something with something in the background, your kids, a pile of laundry. Um, maybe it's just the couch and it's your living room. Maybe it's your office whatever talk about the flexibility of the business because i think so many people are like well i want to have my own business but i feel like I, it would be too time consuming or you could be like me where my family and i were discussing me taking a second job before i started this business and i would have never saw my family <laughs> ever ever amen so once my friend was talking about this it was i didn't have to go physically get a job because I get a weekly paycheck with this business. That is a reality for a lot of families that some parents are working two jobs. So talking about that flexibility. Instagram, talk about something that you're looking to accomplish this year within your niche. Do I have a separate planner? Oh, I, I should look and see them. Hold on, let me see what you just said. Do you have a separate planner? Yes, I do. I definitely do. It just makes life so much easier as opposed to like my fan. I just use my a calendar for my family and then I have a planner for my business. Organization, whatever way that works best for you is super important because you will lose people and forget people and things like that. Oh, sorry. I missed something. So looking at what you're looking to accomplish within your niche. So like is it that you're looking at to help other people? Is it looking, is it like that you're looking to grow in this area? Like whatever that might be something that you're looking to accomplish this year. Stories, I want you to talk about all three steps. There's a reason for this. All three steps. Talk about all three steps. Not just share pictures. Talk about them, please. Use your words, unless you're me and it's a Saturday. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> The reason we're talking about the three step, all three steps on a Thursday is because Friday in our stories, we're going to talk about packing up samples. Um, and on Facebook, you're going to talk about a sample post. So there's multiple ways that we've discussed that you can do this. Um, this it can be you taking a picture of like products scattered all over your area. You can take a picture of just a 
bunch of pouches and like leave it a mystery and say like new year's happy packs going out who wants one whatever um that's why we're talking about sometimes you gotta have a little strategy within your marketing so talking about all three steps and how they work synergistically together and then the next day we were talking about samples so yesterday i talked about all three steps i just want to let you know that i'm actually packing up a couple samples if it's something you're wanting to try either drop me a message or just put a heart to this story or whatever or do a poll vote on this poll um Saturday, Facebook, what is Thrive helping you with on the weekend? Instagram, do another reel. Probably like 10 o'clock in the morning was the best time that day. Stories show the packed up samples, or you can take a picture of the Zoom and talk about the community within the business that you are never left alone to just figure everything out in your business that you have a community that helps and guides you. Um, because I feel like that's what a lot of people are afraid of when they are looking to join this business. They're like, but I don't know how to, I've done this other business and they kind of just like left me to figure things out on my own. And then they failed, um, whatever that looks like. So you can either do your packed up samples, going out to the post office or pretending like you're going to go to the post office. Um, but maybe you send it out on like a Monday or whatever. <clears throat> and, or the community by taking a picture of this specific zoom and talking about how you're, you always have a network of support of people, Instagram, real stories packing up a sample or just talking about how you're doing a sample with a poll or something like that um how you're never just left to figure things out that there's always people here to teach you to guide you to help you be successful within this business so with that being said that is done because sundays we kind of just leave as a free day um if you're really wanting to have an impactful post that is going to like pull on someone's emotions. Sunday night is a really good time for that because people are kind of like winding down. They're thinking about the week ahead, all those lovely things. So let me go through the chat real quick just to make sure there's not additional questions. I like to keep this, if I can, under 30 minutes because I know everyone's busy on a Saturday. Where's our heart on Saturday? <laughs> I want the shirt. Bear stomachs and all. Um, cool. Anyone else have any questions? If not, we will sign off and we'll be back next Saturday. So let me look at my calendar. There is one day where I might have to have somebody else step in for me because I have to, so I have to work for my job on <clears throat> like one every five Saturdays or whatever. They don't even give me a new year. Rude. Um, I think it's the 22nd, if I'm not mistaken, 22nd of January. So I will make sure that this is still running full steam ahead and find somebody to cover for me. So you never have to miss a Saturday because I know for me, if I do like last week, I was like, what do I do this week? <laughs> and then I just went and I actually rewatched one of my own videos and I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So I will make sure that we're continually doing this and I will see you next Saturday. Love you guys.